Hi, welcome back. Mr. G here with another lesson plan for you. And again, this is Mr. G's Rap Sessions, which is based off of recycled art projects. And this session is session number one, and it is Words to Live By. Today we are going to talk about collage. And a collage is building up a bunch of different items to make a single picture. And today we're going to make a collage of words and words that you identify with, words that are important to you. And we are gonna add a component of a visual graphic with it too, or a picture. Okay, so I started out and have gotten this far so far with my collage. And I picked some words like Game changers, because I'm a visual art teacher, I see some pretty dynamic students on a daily basis. They're the game changers, I'm just the person trying to help them along. So now we're gonna start to build up our piece. When you're building up your piece, you might wanna sit there and go, oh, I might wanna place something here, or oh, I might wanna place it there. Today, I'm going to place it here because I am the artist and that's where I chose for it to be. Wherever you guys decide that you want to put your pieces, that's great. Okay. And again, a prompter. If you are cutting out of a magazine, a book, or a newspaper, please ask somebody to do so before you start. I don't want you to get in trouble for accidentally cutting out something that somebody might have wanted to keep. So thanks. And now I'm just taking pieces that I've already cut out that I think describe me. I'm taking a heartbeat now because I feel like I have a heartbeat and I'm pretty vibrant and I'm pinning it on there. And again, you are going to pin where you want to. I'm going to take the word charity because I believe that we give to people that are less fortunate to, than us and I know that it's been done for me in the past, so. And we're gonna glue on a couple of more. You guys can put on as many or as few pieces as you can. Do start to think about the words that you're putting on your piece and how they, um, are special to you. Um, and if you get a chance, please talk it over with your friends, your parents, anybody that um, finds your work interesting. This can be done, this project can be done by any age um, unit that feels like it can do this project. Um, and it might be a good thing for parents to sit down and talk over with their kids to find out some things about their kids that they might like. So I'm gonna add on the few last pieces. And again, rule of thumb, please ask if you can cut things out. I know that I'm stressing on that, but again, I don't want you to t cut something out that somebody might have wanted, and I don't want you to get in trouble for cutting something out that you shouldn't have. Okay, so this is where I've gotten to so far. And just briefly, I'm going to review some of the words that I picked. Um, I picked the word real because I always try to be real and truthful to myself, um, my truth. Um, I picked the word time because time is super important to me. Giving time to young people, um, spending time with people that want to grow and learning from people. And I also use the word kids because I really enjoy working with kids. Again, I hope that you guys had a great time um, building a collage based off of the words that um, you identify with. Thanks again um, for going on this journey with me. Um, see ya.